In the rapidly evolving world of electric vehicles, strategic partnerships and incentive deals can be game changers. Today, we're diving deep into a recent collaboration that's making waves in the automotive industry. An American automotive startup has just inked a significant deal, and it could have a profound impact on its stock value. Curious? Let's unravel the details. Canoe Incorporated, a California-based electric vehicle, EV maker, has just announced a finalized incentive agreement with both the state of Oklahoma and the North American tribe, Cherokee Nation. This isn't just any ordinary deal. It's a multifaceted agreement that could potentially reshape the trajectory of Canoe's future. As part of this deal, Canoe has kickstarted the hiring process for its vehicle assembly facility situated in Oklahoma City and a battery manufacturing factory in Pryor. The magnitude of this agreement is substantial, with a valuation of $113 million spread over a decade. This collaboration with the Department of Commerce offers Canoe the opportunity to earn performance-based payouts. Additionally, they stand to benefit from state tax credits and exemptions. Such incentives can significantly reduce operational costs, thereby potentially boosting profitability in the long run. Canoe's CEO, Tony Aquila, expressed his enthusiasm about the deal, emphasizing the multi-year effort that went into its realization. He highlighted the potential to hire over 1,300 Oklahomans, aligning with the vision of state and tribal leaders to usher in new industries to Oklahoma. This move not only showcases Canoe's commitment to expansion but also its dedication to community engagement and job creation. Canoe has further solidified its relationship with the Cherokee Nation through on-the-job training agreements. This collaboration aims to tap into the skilled workforce from the Cherokee Reservation, specifically for staffing the prior battery module manufacturing site. Such partnerships can be invaluable. By leveraging the local talent pool, Canoe can ensure a skilled and dedicated workforce, which can be instrumental in maintaining high-quality production standards. Now let's discuss the potential impacts of this news on Canoe's stock price. The electric vehicle market is fiercely competitive, with startups and established players vying for market share. Strategic partnerships, like the one Canoe has entered into, can provide a competitive edge. By securing a robust incentive deal, Canoe has effectively reduced potential financial burdens, positioning itself for sustainable growth. The hiring spree in Oklahoma, coupled with the training agreements with the Cherokee Nation, signals Canoe's aggressive expansion strategy. Such moves often resonate positively with investors, as they indicate a company's proactive approach to growth and market capture. However, it's essential to note that, according to Refinitiv data, analysts predict Canoe to report a loss of roughly $75 million in its upcoming second quarter results. While this might raise eyebrows, it's not uncommon for startups, especially in the EV sector, to face initial losses. The key lies in the long-term vision and the steps taken to achieve profitability. The recent agreements and partnerships might be Canoe's strategic response to offset these losses and pave the way for future gains. Now, focusing on the upcoming trading session on August 15, 2023, there are specific surge signals to be aware of for Canoe's stock. On the upside, we have 53 cents, 56 cents, and 58 cents, while on the downside, the levels are 48 cents, 46 cents, and 43 cents. These numbers are crucial. They represent price points that, if reached or breached, could confirm a directional move for the stock. For instance, if the stock approaches or surpasses the $0.58 cents mark, it could indicate a strong bullish momentum. Conversely, dropping below $0.43 cents might signal a bearish trend. As traders, it's vital to monitor these levels closely, as they can provide insights into potential entry or exit points. And there you have it, folks! a deep dive into Canoe's recent moves and what it might mean for its stock. If you found this analysis helpful, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more updates. And here's a question for you. How do you think Canoe's partnerships will shape its future in the EV market? Drop your thoughts in the comments below.